giant eagle owl, everyone. Beautiful. What a what a great find. Isn't that amazing? Saw so those birds dive bomb. I thought there, there must be something around there. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> I have not seen one of these for ages. I was hoping I was going to find a giant eagle owl this stint. Oh, this is beautiful. But he's sitting out in the open in this beautiful jackalberry. And out in the light, David, there we go. You challenged me to find an eagle owl. Done. Second challenge completed. <laughs> I think this challenge thing is going to be quite fun. Oh, it's got like bombed by a bird. Yeah, so so a lot of these birds are, are, are mobbing them. They're, they're actually Retz's helmet strikes that just flew through there. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see them. No, I wonder we need to get those birds on camera if, for them to count. But there's crested barbets, grey go away birds, Retz's helmet shrikes. There's a, a lot going on in this jackalberry at the moment. But I'm just so excited about this owl. That is such a beautiful little position that it's in there out in the open warming up in the sun and look at those pink eyelids you can see it clearly as it, it closes its eyes slightly those beautiful pink eyelids <laughs> I'm so excited about this I have not seen a giant eagle owl for ages so this is wonderful wow One of my one of my favorite owls, I think. I must be honest, actually. I don't know if I have favorite owl. I think I like all of them. I love seeing owls, especially these big giant eagle owls. Or well, the name <clears throat> the name is now Varose Eagle Owl. However, I just enjoy giant eagle owl. Now, Kat, you asked um, how the, the eagle owl got its name I don't know to be honest I don't know what the reason for the eagle owl um, getting its name if you think of it the, there's spotted eagle owls the giant eagle owl the cape eagle owl I wonder if it hasn't got something to do with the size perhaps um, of these birds they are very large the size of some eagles so I wonder if it's not perhaps if it's not got something to do with the size but I don't know Kathy I'm not sure I wonder if any of you can maybe research it and let 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 us know if you can find any reason for them being named the eagle owl but I wonder if it's got something to do with the size I would assume so I mean, as I said we've got um, well, the, the large ones, the Cape Eagle Owl, the Spotted Eagle Owl, the Verose Eagle Owl, which is this one, as I said, but I, I still like calling it the Giant Eagle Owl. Um, <clears throat> um, but uh, <laughs> really enjoying that sun. Look at that head turning around. Um, the other large owl is obviously Pell's Fishing Owl. But I, I suppose those are named after their, their um, habits, like the, um, like, well, obviously, Pell's Fishing Hole for catching catching fish. Um, Michael, you asked, how do these giant eagle owls differ in size compared to the others? Well, the largest, the, the, I suppose the second largest um, one or the largest owl is the Pell's Fishing Owl. So they very similar in size, and um, then the, it's the giant eagle owl. So these two are very similar, just over 60 centimeters. So two ruler lengths, if I can put it that way. Um, and then the others are much smaller. I'll tell you the um, probably spotted eagle owl is is closest to that. 
I mean, those are only about 45 centimeters. So about 15 or 20 centimeters smaller than these big owls. But the two largest are the Pell's fishing owl and the giant eagle owl. This is such a lovely view of it. You, just, you see how things can just happen all of a sudden in the bush, driving around and the next thing you find something like this. And it was actually, as I said, it was because I saw the Retz's helmet shrikes first. Those beautiful Retz's helmet shrikes. They um, flew past, I was watching them and then I saw a few of them just dive bomb and wondered what it was and then spotted the owl. little one you asked what do the eagle owls typically eat well these eagle owls will most definitely go for um oh, look i mean the ones this size the giant eagle owl um if you think of uh scrub hairs at night easy prey for a giant eagle owl um warthogs apparently warthogs and monkeys which is quite, I mean, I, I'm assuming that's quite rare for an eagle owl to go for a warthog, um, but um, maybe uh, large birds. That's interesting, I'm just reading something else here now about the food. Large birds, so um, some including diurnal raptors. Now I wonder if because they they um, their food includes raptors. Maybe that's where they get the name Eagle Owl from, is because they feed on some raptors. But I would say it's it's got quite a wide range of prey. So monkeys, rodents, uh, you know, the scrub hairs that we get at night, um, birds out of trees. Uh, Bobby, you asked if, uh, or how do I know if this male is, or if this owl is male or female? So I don't know because they look very, very similar. The male and female look alike. Um, however, the female giant eagle owl is larger than the male. Um, it's about 10% larger, but just seeing one like this i don't know we can't tell if we see two together then you can probably tell which is male or female judging by size so bobby that uh, that would be the best way but in terms of of looks uh, if you have a look we might be able to see those talons can't get, uh, can't get closer unfortunately and I don't want to move any closer because I'm scared that we disturb it and it flies away the one we had with Stella was pretty um, like we could get quite closer but yeah you never know yeah we'll wait and see maybe just now we can try get a little bit closer but um, um, so as I was saying was judging by size you can tell male and female because they look very similar. Uh, the males and females look, look almost identical. Um, but if you get two next to one another, the female will be larger. Such a beautiful face. <laughs> That's such a nice surprise. And hear some baboons barking in the distance behind us. It's such a peaceful scene, this sitting on the edge of this drainage line. I do enjoy drainage lines, just the thicker vegetation, and you've got to scan very carefully because there's obviously a lot of things going on in here.
Toby, you asked if the giant eagle owls mate for life. Um, and uh, they, they, so they, they do, Toby. They are monogamous, so they tend to stay together. Um, and often you will find will find these owls in uh, in areas together, males and females. Often find two of them in in the same area. But um, yes, Toby, they are they are indeed monogamous. Oh, there's a, a lot of birds here flying around at the moment. There's a black collared barbet that was sitting up in the tree above us. I wonder if we can see that. Where is it? He's sitting up there. So just through there somewhere. I don't know, from your angle you might see it a bit better. Um, a bit difficult to it's see. Point on the monitor. Oh uh, no, you know, it's, I think it's just moved. Hold on a second, let me see. Oh no, it's still there. So, on the monitor, right? yeah. so if we go up a little bit, through the back there somewhere. There, there he is, there he is. There we go, black collared barbets, everyone. Can you see? Well done, Seb. Oh, lovely. We can add that bird to our list. <laughs> well, what a nice surprise. Um, I might see if we can get a little bit closer to this owl for all, all of you. But while I do that, let's head across to Taylor and see how her morning is going.